TV down at the uh, Rum Park Arena with Sean Crowley. Just coming off your first first professional fight, mate, and your yeah. first professional win. Yeah, it was good, mate. Enjoyed every single moment of it. It was um, a good fight, that wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was very good with his head, and um, it was a good fight to learn from, to be honest, rather than just going through motions, you know. I had to adapt. I thought I would have had it in my head of being the usual going forwards, but you know, it would have just turned into a brawl, so I had to adapt and go on the back foot and box and uh, try and counter punch. Well, that, that's what I was saying to you before. I was quite impressed because you actually, you know, you won the fight going backwards there. Yeah. You gave yourself plenty of room. You punished him, and I think in that fourth round, I quite like that. You uh, did some nice little combinations in there and uh, made sure of the win. But I, I think you won 40, 36. Yeah, I wouldn't have said it was that. I, I, I think it was a little closer than that. I think you yeah. pulled away. At the end there. Um, so then you got the third round, I sort of slowed down in the third. Um, had the jelly legs the first and second, but you got him. And then in the fourth, I, thought, I felt like I got second wind, and you know, sod law to get your second wind in the fourth. Well, I was really impressed because it looked like you were dancing in there. You fought yeah. really well off the ropes as well. I was, I was impressed with your movement, mate. Oh, yeah, that's what they're there for at the end of the day, isn't it? So, you know, back onto them and move off away from shots. And, you uh, saw Paul then? Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, I weren't sure because you do switch a bit, yeah. but you were mainly in the South Pole yeah, stance. Yeah. Yeah, right handed as a southpaw, so I used to be an orthodox years ago and uh, hurt my hands <laughs> and switched, so you know, it's more comfortable. Yeah, you know, I learned a lot and there's more to come and really, really enjoyed it. You right. know, it's great listen. to be back in there in the, in the moment. Yeah, listen, this is all about, mate. It's yeah. learning. We said this when I, we did the interview, which you didn't share. <laughs> I've, I've been on Facebook, mate, so I'll, so I'll add you and then I'll, you know, I've got, I want to have just stayed off it for the past couple of days. Yeah, you've got to focus on what's, what's right, that's the right way to go. Yeah, around, social mate. media can take over your life, so I've just, you know, put it to one side and got myself in shape. Uh, felt a bit drained, that was a learning curve, you know, it's all stuff that you, you experience and you know what to do and what not to do for next time. It's nerves, isn't it? Yeah. It's learning to cope with them a little bit and like you say, you've been away from it for a little while and now you're back there and, yeah. and you, you, you think you're alright, but no, you, nothing can prepare you for fight night, can it? No, Until nothing, you fight night. Nothing, you know, I was really excited in the changing room and maybe that was it, took a lot of energy out of me. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. It's a stepping stone, mate. Yeah, so yeah. the next fight, the next fight, there'll be a little bit more improvement. The next fight, by the time you have, a, say, five fights, then you know what the true you is. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, there was stuff there that I know that I was doing that I've worked on not to do, mm -hmm. but I definitely won't be doing it next time, you know? Right, well, listen, I thought it was a fine performance, mate. Good movement there against a tough lad. You really, really wanted to win there, so well done, Sean. Yeah, thanks, Luke. Take care, mate. Cheers, bye bye. Mate.